The images of the aftermath of the volcanic eruption and tsunami that hit Tonga are startling. Buildings damaged and ash covering large portions of the island nation. Anita Katao Tuyaki is from Tonga and works for the immigrant and refugee community known as Urko here in Portland. Her mom is still in Tonga. When it first happened, like I was actually with my mom on the phone when the volcano was, you know, erupted at that time. And so because she was she called and she was saying, you know, it's raining rocks and, you know, um, asphalt right now. She says at first there was no communication with her mom and that was difficult to deal with. But just the worry of not knowing what what's happening. And so I've been able to speak to my mom and, um, you know, that's a comfort uh, feeling, knowing that everything is OK. And Aid began to arrive in Tonga on Thursday from numerous sources. Several flights from Australia landed with food, water, medical supplies and communication equipment. Japan has also sent supplies and the United States and Great Britain have ships on the way with aid. Members of the local Tongan community gathered in northeast Portland. They exchanged information about their families and the situation in their home nation. Now it's kind of like, how, how can we move forward and how can we help? 